G'day guys, welcome back to Machete Bushcraft Australia. My name is Ben, I'm the owner of North Arm Machete Co. Um, if you caught last week's video, we gave you guys a quite a good description of, of how we process firewood out here in the bush. Um, one of the things that we actually demonstrated was how to use uh, a card scraper on the back of your machete to um, cut really fine and fluffy tinder. Um, one of the things we wanted to talk today about is how we actually sharpen the back of the machete. Um, and we'll show you the methods which we actually use in that process. Um, so if you bear with me for a minute, I'm going to reset up on a bench, um, actually a stool, and I'll show you guys how we do it out in the field. It's a really quick process. Um, if it's done right, uh, and we'll show you that technique, it actually lasts a very long time. Uh, and you won't need to maintain this as nearly as much as you'll need to maintain an edge on a knife or a machete when you're out in the field. Um, but if you bear with me for a moment, I'll reset really up on the bench and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, the two tools which we'll be using today to sharpen the card scraper edge on the back of the machete is going to be the flat chainsaw file and the stone. And we used these two in uh, last week's uh, video, or actually the video before, on sharpening the primary edge on your machete. The real advantage of using a flat chainsaw file is basically that it has two safe edges. And these safe edges, all that means is there's no cutting teeth on these two sides. The other advantage to a chainsaw file's safe edge is that it's actually rounded, which means this is a real advantage for us when we're actually trying to sharpen a card scraper edge. All right, when you're sharpening a card scraper edge out in the field, the first thing you actually need to do is you need to square and polish the spine and the two faces on either side of the machete. And we begin this with using a, the flat chainsaw file. And all we're actually doing is we're just trying to flatten this area through here as square as we can get it by hand. And it really doesn't take too much at all. Just a few strokes with a file. And honestly, that's actually just about it. And you'll know that you've actually created a, a, an edge there, is that you actually feel there's a wire edge on, on the opposite side to which you are filing, and there won't be one on this side here. Now, once we've actually filed that edge through there, this is when we go to the pocket stone. This is, this is begin, uh, the beginning of the polishing uh, process. And all we're actually doing here is we actually just lay it at right angles to the uh, blade itself, and we just run it backwards and forwards a few times, and we're just trying to refine that surface slightly. All right, that's flat and smooth. Now we go on to the two faces. Again, we just hold the pocket stone, nice and gentle. And all we're actually doing is we just want to remove that wire edge that was put on with the file. And again on the underside, Now you need to be a little bit careful here because a wire edge is actually a very sharp edge and you don't really want to run your thumb or your finger on that edge there. Okay, so we've polished both faces of the machete and we've also polished the spine in the area where we want to establish the card scraper edge. The next step is we've got to use the chainsaw file and the safe edge with no cutting teeth to actually move a little bit of the steel up and then we're going to roll it over. This actually involves two angles with the actual uh, file itself and the way you find those two angles, it's very easy, is first of all as you lay the file flat on the machete and then you tilt it back slightly. So it's just to exaggerate that, you're actually tilting it back slightly. Tilt it back, and then we kick one more angle in. And what we're actually doing is we're just going to push twice with that file with gentle, gentle to firm amount of pressure. No, it's not too much. It's a very hard thing to describe how much pressure you put on there. But all we're trying to do is we're trying to roll that right angle corner over a little bit. And we do the same on the other side. You've got to be careful this time because your knuckle is facing towards the uh, sharp edge of the machete. So again, we go flat, 
kick it up a little bit and then we get a second angle and then we just push and that's it you can feel that wire edge is completely gone and you got, if you run your thumb on that spine you can actually feel that wire edge is now pointing up now it's exactly the same process again we lay it at right angles to the blade kick it back slightly it's very very slightly and put another angle on it and now we're actually going to work on this side establishing a card scraper edge on this side so it's again it's just two strokes and we can also do the same on the other side lay it flat kick an angle kick an angle there and a second angle and it's just gentle strokes it's really it's not much force at all what you're actually aiming for is a wire edge that is as small, a hooked edge, which is as small as and as fine as you can possibly get it. And that will be a very long lasting card scraper edge. Now when it comes to maintenance, um, you will be able to just draw up steel probably about two more times throughout the process before you actually need to file and then stone the edge and then draw up steel. Um, but you'll actually find that as long as if it's done properly this will actually last a very very long time I hope you found that uh, not too difficult to achieve um, if you're having any problems or any questions um, drop a comment down below uh, I'm happy to answer any questions that you may have um, next week's video a little bit undecided just yet we're thinking maybe you might do a machete chop challenge uh, I've seen lots of YouTube videos on people processing firewood with um, big Bowie knives and um, might be good for you guys to see how that compares with uh, uh, compares against a big machete um, or we might do um, extreme sharpening out in the bush using uh, a cotton strop um, it's a method we've been using for years just to uh, strop small knives and also machetes but we use it for axes and other cutting tools out in the bush um, so until next week Oh, and sorry about the audio, microphone doesn't work with the new camera, but we'll sort that out next week. Um, so until then, see you later.